YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Knock back once again. Got another video for you. Like I say, thanks to everybody who's been checking out the videos. Also, knockshouse.com coming soon. If you want to be notified when it comes up, send me an email to knock, or oh, excuse me, subscribe at knockshouse.com. That's subscribe at knockshouse.com, and I'll send out a mass email. Let everybody know when it's up. Going to have beats for sale, lease, free beats, uh, videos, different videos, what you see on YouTube, uh, maybe live stream videos with production going on, blogs, all that stuff. Just a fun place to do some music, all right? So, uh, first of all, let me say I get a lot of emails about people wanting to put their MP3s in the machine. And since it doesn't read MP3s currently, uh, let's find a way to go ahead and put that in. Now, some of you might know this already. Some of you might not. But uh, go online. Go to Google. Type in Audacity. Just follow the way I do it. Audacity Free Audio Editor and Recorder. Click that. Click Download Audacity 1.26. Audacity Installer. You're going to download this. And before you install it, you're going to come back and download this, the lame MP3 encoder. This you're going to install after you get both of them done. And this you remember where you put it because you're going to be asked to remember to uh, find it at later on when you want to encode something, all right, to MP3. So, uh, first of all, let me call up Audacity. I already got it loaded. Uh, I got a way, uh, excuse me, uh, MP3. Do do MP3. Drag it, drop it. This is an MP3 inside of uh, Audacity. <laughs> If you want to take a certain section to convert it to wave, left click, drag, let it go, go to file, and export selection as wave. It's going to, be, it's going to ask you to name it and everything. I want to do the whole thing, so I'm just going to go to file, export as wave, boom, doo doo, call it doo doo wave, boom. We're now done. Just that fast. It's a wave file that you can put into machine. It's right here. I'm going to pull machine up and locate it. See library button. I'm going to click disk, and I'm going to go to find it. Mine is on the desktop. Yours might be in C, blah 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 folder. Desktop, do the way right there. That's it. I'm gonna put it in. Just taking and drag it to one of the pads in group H or whatever group you want, and it's now in there. And you can see the wave file right there. Boom. You have it in there. You can do whatever you want with it now. I got the same wave on group F. <laughs> I'm just going to copy it, show you how I did this pattern. Uh, duplicate, click that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, it's on all seven of these. I can do start endpoints. Let me show you what I did. Put it on edit. since they're the same. Now let me cut the internet off so I don't get that crackle from the audio. Boom. Disable. Alright now, this is how the pattern went. Real simple. So what I'm going to do is go to pattern, hit the pattern button. First let me get out of sampler mode. Hit the pattern button and I'm going to press pad 1 make it two bars you see the, did you see the software adjust two bars Boom. now I'm just gonna go ahead and record this pattern get a click track by hitting shift and play okay I know what I got now. I'm gonna try and go through it without uh, messing up here we go <laughs> put drop his quick beat down so let me uh, hit pattern button again I'm gonna put the sequence on pad 13 I'll just make it two bars just go ahead and record <laughs> shift and play and it goes off again. Let's put some hi hats in there. Now 
Now I want to take that pattern, that same pattern that's in the drums, which is uh, 13. I want to hit duplicate, hold it, and go to 14. Now 14 will be something. I put a roll at the end. Uh, let me do. I do a drum roll. So. <laughs> Now that I got that down, I'm just going to go back to pattern this one. And I, what I like is when you go to the software, you click scene and drop down off. Now you can switch between these two patterns or whatever patterns instantly. It'll go right to the next one without having to wait to the end of the bar, which you can do also. But for me, I like to just do it, you know, switch back and forth. So I'll just do this just to show you. The rest of the playing. I want to go to the drum roll. On the roll, go back. See how you can see on the screen it switches between. You know, I like to do that just to have some fun with it in the live situation or when I'm mixing down live. So. Okay, now that I got that little pattern recorded, let me show you what else I do. You can export this, to, um, you know, do the render like you do in the DAW, or what I like to do, I like to go live. Let me hit uh, Group H or whatever, and hit the record button. I want to turn it to internal, and then to master, and when I hit the uh, button for it to play, it's going to start recording what I'm doing internally. So let me set this mix up, so just to show y'all. I'm going to hit start, ready to go. So basically, what I just did, I go back to H and I hit stop, and boom, you can see the wave file in the software. It's now recorded here. So, with that said, what I want to do is locate it so I can go ahead and uh, make it an MP3. What I want to do is go to library, then hit this wave, little wave symbol right here. And now I can see uh, that the wave was ended in 851. I'm going to scroll down these numbers. Um, let me see. There it is right there. You can hear it. So I'm going to go right click, open containing folder, see 851. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and put it on my desktop, paste, boom. Now I'm going to drag it into Audacity, and it's now the WAV file is right there. I want to say I want to export this MP3 so I can put it online or send it out, boom. I'm going to call it do. Now, this is why you need that lame MP3 encoder. It's asking you where it is. But you remember where it is, so you hit yes. Mine is in here. So I click that. Boom. You don't have to do that no more after you do it one time. So, And now it's loading. Simple as that. And you're going to have an MP3 that you can send to whoever. The MP3 is right here. Boom. So that's all you got to do. And... Yeah, I'm going to come back with more videos showing different stuff, but that's just for the people that want to you know how to get it into the MP3 and mix it down or blah, blah, blah. You can do it different ways in machine. As you can see online, I want to send a shout out to everybody online doing the videos. I'm learning. Everybody's learning. It's all good, all right?